Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomus Biology and here we want to talk about taxonomic classification system and actually to find out the tricks to remember taxonomic classification system within five minutes. So what is the deal with this? So let's begin with it. Like every single mnemonics video here also I'm going to tell you a simple story, a simple sentence that will help you to remember. And the sentence here you need to remember is nothing but a dumb king, really, a really, really dumb king. That's why I put this picture of this king, although it's not, it's kind of offensive to say, but a dumb king, Philip, that's what we want to talk about. No offense though. So what sentence you need to remember? The thing that you need to remember is dumb king Philip came over from Great Spain. So that is all guys. If you remember dumb King Philip came over from Great Spain. For every single word that uh, I've written here, first letter is of red color. That is something different. That is That means that letter denotes some taxonomical classification hierarchy. So let's talk about that. The first one with dumb, D stands for domain. The largest among this class, the, the highest in this hierarchy. Then if you break down domain, we get uh, something from K and that is kingdom. Then if you break down kingdom, we'll get something starting with P that is phylum. Uh, and then if you break phylum down, we will get class. Then if you break down class, we will get O for order. And if you break down order, we'll get F, family. If you break down family, we'll get G for genus. And if you break down genus, we'll get S for species. Now you can go further by breaking down a species to form subspecies. But ultimately, species is considered as the unique of this taxonomic classification this is the smallest one and the, the more we are going towards uh, the domain we are getting bigger and bigger so species then we have genus uh, more genus together family more family together order more order together class more classes together phylum more phylum together kingdom and more kingdoms together is domain so ultimately every organism that we know belong to either of the three domains that are there that is eukarya archaea and bacteria so now let us give you one example so that you can connect this dot very clearly and let's take the example of humans homo sapiens so how do we begin for humans so domain that we all have as a human is eukarya we are eukarya now kingdom animalia and phylum we are chordata in phylum Generally, they ask classification till phylum level for non data. But for data, they ask questions till uh, the class level. So let's break down phylum into class that we are mammalia. So we have certain features featuring telling us we are mammalia. Then uh, the order for us are primates. And there are many more primates we know, but humans are specific. So let's break it down. Family, we are from hominid family. Break it down. Genus, we are from homo. And the species, sapiens. So ultimately... The scientific nomenclature that we always deal with, the binomial nomenclature deals with the genus and the species. So genus and species, that's how we write it. So we will write homo and sapiens, homo sapiens, that's how we write uh, our scientific name so that's all about the taxonomic classification guys if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more and more videos like that thank you